Hey everybody, my name is Brandy, and today's video is all about a horse named Rain and why I am selling her and what she has done for me and my program. So let's go and get her. her very last moment of being with her herd for the last 10 years. Um, I've decided to sell Rain and she's gonna be introduced to her new pasture mate today. Rain. I met her, she came to me for training 10 years ago and I had her for 90 days of training and I liked her so much that I offered to, or I asked if she would be available for sale. So I ended up buying her and then after that I trained a lot of her brothers and sisters. And it was a really good opportunity and I learned so much about this particular breed. Um, and I like them very much. All of, all of her siblings that I've worked with, they all have a very good disposition, very willing, um, smart horses who um, just like to have a job. And they're really fun to work with. So Rain was the very first of all of those horses that I got to work with. And Rain is, she's 14 years old. She is a registered Colorado Ranger, which is, um, it's a bloodline breed. She would have been registered as an Appaloosa, but there was one horse, her grandmother, I believe, who was a rescue and didn't come with papers. So, but she was indeed a registered Appaloosa, or purebred Appaloosa. So, um, if Rain had been a gelding, I believe she could have been registered as an Appaloosa as well. I think that's how it works. Rain was the very first horse that I trained for someone else as part of my business. And the thing I liked about her is she was so kind and willing and patient and eager to learn. Um, what's funny is when I got her, or when I first saw her, she was solid bay and she had like one black spot on her butt and that was it. And now she's very, um, she's changed very much. Like she didn't have any of this white hair. Um, all of that is, is new. So, um, even her, she did have some of like the modeling around her muzzle and such, but that's, that's all she had for color on her. She was actually quite awkward looking. Um, her feet were gigantic compared to the rest of her body. And she was kind of, um, very teenager looking. So she was kind of kind of lanky and um, hadn't filled out yet. So when I told my mom that I was going to be buying this horse or that I was interested in buying this horse, she was like, why? <laughs> and, but everybody, um, and my husband I think felt the same way because she wasn't, um, she just hadn't grown into herself yet. But I think after everybody got to know her, saw how special she really was and how great of a horse she is. So um, after 10 years of using her as a lesson horse and her teaching hundreds of people how to ride, um, I know she was the very first horse that a lot of people have ridden. Rain has had riders from age um, probably one and a half all the way to about 85. My daughter was probably the youngest rider ever on her and the oldest was in his 80s and it was on his bucket list. He had cancer and it was on his bucket list to be able to ride again. He had ridden a lot when he was younger and I took him out trail riding and Rain was probably only five or six at the time and she took care of this 
gentleman like you wouldn't believe. So um, he was able to make his dreams come true by getting out on the trail and this horse took care of him. I, I could have picked a better horse for him to ride. So she's just always been that way and I can trust her with everybody. And we're gonna stop there before I cry. <laughs> In the last 10 years, um, we have done a lot with Rain. She has gotten so much exposure to so many things. I did my very first ever endurance race on her when she was five, and we did a 25 mile ride. She did fantastic at that. Um, we're not competitive whatsoever, but we just did it. She has been shown at a lot of local horse shows in English and Western events, um, some showmanship. Um, she has done jumping. She really seems to like jumping a lot. And the highest that she has done is two foot six. That was the highest that she's been shown at. And she did absolutely fantastic. She's even taken some blue ribbons and jumping. She knows all of the different speed events. So the Gymkhana classes does good with, um, does good with the barrel racing pattern. She's not, um, She's not like high speed competitive, but she definitely can run a very, very nice pattern. And she really seems to like it. Probably her favorite thing to do of everything would be um, the rodeo events. We've used her for, <laughs> we've used her for many, many rodeos. Um, She's been leased out to several different girls who have gone out for Rodeo Princess. Four different, four different girls have ridden this horse in our local rodeo and gone out for Rodeo Princess. And she has won one title so far, um, but has been runner up, I think, two or three times. And she's just a really great rodeo horse. Rain knows that when she goes in the rodeo arena that she needs to put her ears back and run as fast as she can. And then she comes out of the ring and just settles right down and hangs out with all the other horses. So she's really good at doing flybys and just being part of the whole rodeo environment. She likes that a lot. She's excellent with parades. She loads perfect. Um, she's, what else does she do? She does a little bit of everything. She knows how to bow. I've worked on teaching her how to bow and um, she's a really fun, just family horse. Um, one of the most fun things we probably do with her is I have a big ice fishing sled and I'll take a rope and dally it on my saddle horn and go full speed across the pasture. I think I've had five kids in a sled before doing that and Rain really likes to do that kind of stuff. Um, she's, really good about, she's really good about being part of the entertainment. We've had four kids on her back at a time she was like a limousine, and um, kids think that's pretty cool to all kind of hitch a ride on her. She's really good at playing equine soccer. We play a game called Pass the Torch, Egg and Spoon, Noodle Tag, all kinds of fun things, and she's excellent at all of those. And musical hoops, too. She's really good with that. Musical um, hoops. Let's see. Musical hoops? Yeah. During both of my pregnancies, I rode Rain. I feel like she was a very safe horse to be on. And so I rode her, um, I rode her almost to my due date with both, with both babies. She's also the first horse that I rode after having both my babies. And she's the first horse that I um, rode in the saddle with my daughter on. So I remember very clearly the very first day I took my daughter for a ride on a horse with me. She'd ridden by herself, but first time in the saddle with me was on rain and we went all over the yard um, at a walk, trot, and canter and, and she was fantastic. So we have a lot of really good memories that I'll never, never forget. So you may be wondering, if this horse is so great, why am I selling her? Well, um, I have a lot of good reasons. And one being... Um, but she won't leave another horse alone. <laughs> no, she's really nice to the other horses. That's not a problem at all. <laughs> um, she's really good in the herd. That's not an issue. Um, 
There's a young lady who has been leasing Rain for a couple of years and I feel like she fell in love with Rain just as much as I have. Rain has worked really hard her entire life, um, being with me, for the, so for the last decade she's worked very hard, um, has been a fantastic lesson horse, and I just really feel like she deserves a family of her own. So she deserves to have the opportunity to have one person um, riding her and loving her and I just think that she's put in her time and so this is kind of um, she's kind of retiring from being a lesson horse and will now just be a companion so she'll be a good partner in my business plan I would have say 10 horses and those horses I would train all of them from the start and then they would be matched up with appropriate riders who would lease them and during that time, I would also be using the horses for lessons or whatever else that I needed them for. And then the horses would be offered for sale. And the, the people who were leasing them would have the option to the, buy them first. And if they weren't able to buy them or didn't want to buy them, they would be sold. And then that person could get a, uh, another horse to be used within my program. And then horses would just sort of circulate through the program and we would have good quality horses for sale that have had good training and a lot of life experience. And I just felt like that's my, that's my responsibility to the horse community is to share those horses with everyone. Um, so, but I've had a bit of a problem selling horses because I get so attached to them. And after having a horse for so long being a program, they really become very valuable partners. And, um, but I really need to go back to my original plan and take some of these really amazing horses and occasionally sell a few because it allows me to bring new horses into my program and train those horses and then hopefully get others out into the community so more families can have more awesome horses to get started with. So, so this is allowing me an opportunity to maybe bring some new horses into my program. So um, stay tuned to see what happens in the future. very soon um, <laughs> and now we're gonna introduce her to her new buddy so they can get acclimated before they go home what do you think do you have anything you want to add about rain no do you like her yeah yeah are you sad that we're selling her mm -hmm. yeah and, and we're gonna sell rain yeah but dear rain Dear Rain. <laughs> She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to say Dear Rain. Yeah. I needed to. Yeah. Okay. I just needed to. Oh. <laughs> Don't try that at home. <laughs> Ta -da. <laughs> Rain cares more about her food than the fact that there's a brand new horse with her. <laughs> You got a new friend. Says, yeah, I don't care. He's like, oh, somebody's there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for 
joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. So the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is taking Rain's name tag off of her halter hook and giving it to her new owner as well. And then this will just leave room for possibly another horse, but I guess that'll be a different video that you'll just have to stay tuned to watch.